the Rangers Journal Night. Hello everybody and welcome to the Coppin Collective. I'm making an I'm making an attempt at replacing Kai Watson's Sky video uh, scouting videos. So today we're going to be talking about um, the Chilean Primera Division. This is three players I've picked out that are in a certain position. So one's a striker, one's a number six, and the other one's a winger. Where I feel Rangers could be dealing with recruiting, and it's just some ideas from. A country Chile, just try to continue some of, get, some of Kai's good work. There's also some football manager slides on this spell because I wanted to put my own kind of twist to it. And I, it's more stuff that I can understand if I do it from a football manager version. So the first player we're going to discuss, uh, just a quick thank you to Kai Watson for preparing these slides for me, is Bruno Barticchiotto. Sorry if I butchered that name. He's a 23-year-old. He's a, Ch he's a Chilean player. Um, he's five foot ten. He currently plays for Talleres. His transfer market value is two million pounds. Um, his key stats: so he's had seven starts and fifteen appearances, six goals, one assist. He's averaging a a rating of seven point five on FootMob. He's one hundred and two minutes per goal contribution. He's not point eight eight goal contributions per ninety. He's got twenty seven percent conversion rate, which is from what Kai taught me. I feel I think that's very good. Um, 80.7 passing accuracy. He's got 1.63 chances created. Now, this player really, really likes to play outside the box, but at times he's run inside the box and he's got a very, very good predatory instinct as well. Um, he's got 57.1 uh, dribbling rate. So if you look on the right-hand side here, you'll see he can play left wing, the number 10, or a striker, but primarily, primarily I would want Rangers to sign him as a striker. When I see him on Football Manager, he is a striker. From what I've seen from video highlights about him, he plays as a striker, but he can also play out with the box. He's got very, very good link up play. Um, as you can see from the photo, he's built a tank. It's the only way to put it. He can get by players. Um, he's fast. He's left footed primarily, but he can strike the ball with his right foot. Um, he gets involved in the build up very well, um, quite physical. He's got everything in his locker. He's got headers, he's got long range shots. Um, He's got a predatory instinct, like I say, he can get into the box. Um, at times, he runs really well, um, and he heads, heads the ball particularly well as well. This is his um, football manager stats, according to football manager. So, as you can see, I, I was Rangers manager, I'd done a scout report on him, and my scout says it would be a very good signing for the future. He's 22. He can play here um, as a striker. He can play, according to football manager, anywhere behind the, uh, the front. On Football Manager, if you go to sign this player, you won't be able to get him because he's just signed for, te for Taylor is on this. Obviously, this is the FM24 database. So this is a, a lot more, it's a lot older than what it would be now. Whereas if FM25 was out, damn you, FM, which isn't out till March. Um, if that was out, then you could probably go and purchase the player. Um, it's natural fitness here, 16. You get good pace at 11, stamina is 12, um, which in my eyes fits Philippe Clement's identity in terms of being fit and being fast and being agile. I mean, his agility is coming in at um, 13 here. His acceleration is at 13, his balance is at 14. He's 177 centimetres in height and his weight 77 kilograms. He's got 12 finishing, 13 dribbling, 12 first touch as well. His passing is 12. And his technique is 12. So everything strikes it as um, good stats wise. Um, it can play as an advanced forward, deep lying forward, a poacher, or a target man. His personality is fairly professional. Media descriptions are striker. Um, his traits, he likes to move into channels. Um, he tries first time shots, from going by what I've seen from the videos. This is quite accurate. Um, and he likes to run with the ball often as well. So the reason I think this man would be good is because he's got an eye for goal. He can do out the box work. His transfer value on FM is 800 k to $6 million. Um, That's not an accurate reflection. I think going by Kai's slide, I think he was transfer market valued at £2 million. He's within Rangers region. You can see here from the graph top right that he's got 91%. Goal 72%, 
um, defensive action, seventy percent duels won, and attempted shots at sixty one percent. Chances created twenty three and touches eighteen. Now you wouldn't have won them make many chances anyway. You won them in the box, but this guy does do an awful lot of his work outside of the box. Um, so the reason I would like Rangers to sign him is because he looks a damn good player. We can get him at a, a decent market and at the age of 23, that falls in with Niels, Niels Corbin's recent interviews as well in terms of fitting the, the player profile currently under under way at Rangers. And I think if we can get a guy in a good price, I think we should go and get him. The guy I'm next excited about is Vicente Pizarro. That's look aside, that's me giving you away my last one. So Vicente Pizarro is a 21 Chilean international. He's 5 foot 8. He plays predominantly as a number 6. Hold on, I'm just going to take a slow away so you can see. He pre- 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 plays predominantly as a number 6. This season is his 19 appearances, 11 starts. He's averaging a sofa score rating of 6.89%. He's got a 86% passing accuracy, 64% long ball accuracy. He's left footed primarily, but he can use his right foot as well. Um, 50% chipped ball accuracy, 56% dribble success per game, 1.1 tackles per game, 3.9 recoveries per game, and 59% of his duels are won. As you can see here, the sofa score, this is some of his kind of match ratings from this season. Um, very, very excited about this guy because he's comfortable with both feet. He's good in the tackle, can skin a player, he's very good in tight spaces, um, very good at when he, he gets the ball past a player, he can pick a pass, very good at creating space, which I think is something we've seen from Modi on Monday this summer, is he's not got that link in midfield that's able to create the space and get the ball to him in the half space. Um, he's got a good range of passing, he's quick, he's agile, he's intelligent on the ball, can win a 50-50. I've seen him when I've watched him on YouTube, there's Tackles getting flown in everywhere off this boy, so he's really, really exciting in my eyes. Um, this is a football manager report. I signed him for Rangers at 20 years old. He's obviously 21 now. Um, his personality is a model citizen, which on football manager is really good. It means he's future captain material. Preferred foot left. He's model citizen personality. Defensive midfielder in his um, media description. He plays short, simple passes, um, it takes the tempo, which is what we've really missed, isn't it? If you look up here, this is a scout report on FM as well, so this is a regular starter who could still improve, and at 20 years old on FM, he definitely can improve. I got him in on a wage of 15.7, 15k a week. Um, he can go to a full five stars. Immediately when he came in, he was worth 15 to 20 million pounds, remember, this is only a game. Um, Stats wise, he's very physical. Um, he's got nine. He's got fifteen stamina. He's got eleven pace. His natural fitness is fourteen. His balance is twelve. His agility is eleven. His acceleration is eleven as well. Um, his aggression twelve. Anticipation thirteen. So he's very good at getting in, in anticipating a tackle, anticipating play. His composure on the balls at fifteen, which is really good. His concentration is at fourteen. Um, his decisions is at 15 as well, which is also good. Um, his positioning, 14 as well, which is needed for a number six. These are all out of 20, by the way. Um, his team work is at, I think that's 19. That's there. Vision's 13, work rate 14, tackling 12, technique 12. Um, his first touch is at 13 as well. So all round, I feel as if this guy is the answer to the number six position. Unless you're wanting to bring in an experienced head. I think you go out and you sign this boy. Um, he has valued on Champ at round about, I think I got him for around about 2.4 million. On transfer market, he's he's listed at 2.6, which is also very, very good if you ask me. Um, so this guy would be able to come in, create space, be scanning a player, find the man day and a half space, and hopefully that would help come on to kind of build up. He covers the space really, really well, which is going to complement Connor Barron as well. If he plays next to Connor Barron, Nico Raskin is a completely different type of player. So I would recommend that Rangers go out and get this guy. Purely on what I've seen, my limited knowledge. Um, I think he looks good in the tackle. We need a number six. We need that energy in the middle of the park to complement Barron and Diamondi. 
which I think is a big, big gap that's missing in the team. He's also very good at sitting. So when he sits and the two centre-halves go turn into right centre-backs, sort of improper, seen it happen all season, he's able to sit just in front of them and patrol and dictate the play. He's got, as I say, he's got a very good range of passing, so he can get out of tight spaces, dictate the tempo by that. Um, doesn't he really use short passes? He tends to lift his head and look forward, but he knows when to go sideways when required, which is also really, really good. So that's why I would sign Vicente Pizarro at Rangers. Um, the next, the last one I've got my eye on is Lucas Asidi. He's a 20 year old Chilean player. He's at five foot eight, plays for Universidad de Chile. I think they're top of the league just now. His transfer market value is 2.6 million. He's primarily a central winger, according to a central winger, a central midfielder, according to football, but on FM he plays it on the wing. Um, he's got 19 starts, th- 19 appearances, three starts, one goal to, to assist. Excuse me. 6.7 score, 7, 6.74 so for score rating. 189 minutes per goal contribution, 81% passing accuracy, 27% long ball accuracy. No points, that's just under one chance created per game. 47% dribble success per game and a 42% duels won. So on to his football manager profile now and looks a lot more exciting on FM to me. When I've, when I've watched him on YouTube, he's, he does seem to be playing anywhere behind the forward, basically. He can play as a 10, can play as a winger. He's built to play either position. He can, he can also play centre mid if the manager wanted to use him that way. Um, he's a very good crosser of the ball, can cross for deep, can cross for the byline. He's got plenty of pace. He carries the ball really well, which is really, really important for Rangers in the way they play in Europe. And when they go away from home, they need a, ball, a good ball carrier. He's quite physical as well. Um, he's very good at getting out of uh, tight situations. He's both footed. He's got an eye for goal. And like I say, he can pick a pass. So the one thing I think he would bring to Rangers is flair. Um, he's got... He's a bag of tricks, basically, which is why, which is his strongest accent aspect. Um, as a player, he's player traits. He tries killer balls often, um, cuts inside from both wings, which more or less we've, we've seen from Nadine Badrami when he's played on the left. I think there's vacant positions on the left and the right. I'm not convinced by Black Club Cherney just now. I think you need some more natural width out there. Cherney likes to come inside. I think if he had played a a different right back that bombed on past Cherny, then that creates that opens up the pitch for him as far as I'm concerned. So on his stats, he's at 19 at Flair. His determination's 14. Um, his anticipation's 14 as well. Anticipate acceleration 14, agility 15, um pace 12, stamina 11, natural fitness at 14. He's got a good first touch at 14 at 20, good dribbling as well, um, good crossing. At 4, 15 and 11 respectively. Passing's at 13 and his technique is 14 and his work rate's 11. So he's 19 years old in FM24. He is 20 now. Um, like I say, he is a very, very exciting prospect. I think he could come in and handle the physicality from what I've seen, from what I've watched of him. The Chilean kind of Defenders look very big, very demanding. Um, he seems to get past them without any issues. So I think this could be another piece to the Philippe Clement jigsaw, and I think this boy could really, really offer some to Rangers going forward. Plus there's the, there's the aspect of the, the sell-on value, um, which is why I've, I've yet to see Philippe come on and make a really, really bad signing. Oscar Cortez has been really unlucky. Diamandé were just not finding him in the right areas enough for me. Um, so... Between Bruno Barticchiotto, I guess he, £2 million, 23 years old, very good striker, very physical, built a tank. With Lucas Asidi, you've got your tricky winger who can play anywhere across the front three, providing that versatility, a good killer ball, good eye for goal, um, first team experience as well. If it comes in, valued at £2.6 million. Bruno Barticchiotto is valued at £2 million. Um, and then Vicente Pizarro, my pick of the bunch, is 21-year-old, he's 2.6 million. The guy's got everything you want, you'd look for in the number six. You can also see in the picture there, we get captain's armband on. 
could immediately come in and contribute to a leadership group. For me, these three players, if Nils Coppin and his transfer and his uh, recruitment team were to look at Chile, I, I believe these three players would not just provide an impact in the Rangers starting lineup. I do believe they would provide an impact in the transfer to model that we're trying to that we're trying to um, implement at the club just now. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.